This is Sunny Smiles Sunshine. And Sunny Smile says, thank you, Penny and Daphne. Question, can you teach Kundalini Rising? Or does it just happen with no teaching? I realize everyone's on their own path. Why I ask is because a friend said she went to New York to a seminar that taught Kundalini Rising and everyone at the seminar had their Kundalini Rise. Hmm, I thought. Meanwhile, I haven't noticed any difference in the friend's demeanor or even life activity. So I question the reality of that experience. I'm not intending to make any kind of deal out of anything other than trying to understand, understand Kundalini rising. I work on it in my meditation several years yet, but still waiting on the real experience. Uh, very good observation, Sunny Smiles. There's a lot of people talking about Kundalini who have no idea what the real experience is. When you have the real experience, and I'm not just talking about this moving into this momentary feeling of expansiveness or this momentary feeling of, uh, you know, feeling agreeable with everybody around you or, or, or. The actual kundalini rising, there's, there's no words that can describe it, but, but I'm going to say a couple of things. Uh, number one, when it's rising, you will feel that like liquid light moving right up your back and it will catch your attention and you will say, what the heck is that? And if it reaches the brain, it just blows your entire consciousness right out of this dimension and back to source. And you are different and you do not go about your life the way you did it before because your consciousness has been rewired, period. So it's nice that maybe these people went to a Kundalini Rising workshop and maybe learned a little bit and maybe understood how to get into a more a uh, gentle state of mind, I like that. But that's not the real kundalini rising. And, and very rarely, very rarely does it happen in big groups. I've never heard of it happening in big groups. It's onesie twosies here and there. Um, people who, who notice that, that feeling of something liquid running upwards up the spine, that's, uh, you know, th there's a whole bunch of sexuality associated with that. There's a whole bunch of roaring, a roaring sound. Um, there's an orgasmic reaction that occurs throughout the body. Um, yeah. Wow. Kundalini is nothing to mess with. Um, is it wonderful once it's integrated? Yeah. Um, but is it a piece of work to get it, get it to rise? Yeah. And is it a bigger piece of work to live with it afterwards? Yeah. So you will be different. So keep going with your meditation, <laughs> waiting for the real experience. Um, you won't miss it if it happens. <laughs>